Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom and I am super excited to say that we have got the wonderful Angela Telford in the house. Angela, welcome to Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. Welcome to the series that we are doing on postgraduate courses and um Please tell us what is it that you teach? Uh, you know, tell everybody that doesn't know you um, what it is that you offer. Okay, hi everybody. Um, what I teach, I teach something called visual reflexology, which is, as it sounds, it's um, finding out what we can learn just from looking at the feet. We all touch the feet, but um, as I learned after I've been doing reflexology for many, many years, I didn't actually spend a lot of time looking at the feet. And what I have come to realize is the more time I spend looking at the feet, the more they're telling me, they're talking to us, they're having a visual conversation with us. And that's what I've been looking into for the last seven, eight years or so. Um, so it is a form of what's called foot reading. I know that foot reading now, a lot of people have heard of it. Um, it's a form of foot reading, but it's a form of foot reading that's totally reflexology based. So it's not, some of the forms of foot reading tend to introduce things based on yin yang or chakras, so on and so forth. And they're fascinating they're really really interesting but the way that I look at the feet is something that every reflexologist could understand and I work a lot with reflexology students um, it's great they pick it up really quickly it's a really really fundamental thing and it only surprises me actually that why is it taking us so long as reflexologists you know I include myself I've been doing it for 30 years it took me about 22 to suddenly go oh why what is that Veruca telling me you know what is that freckle telling me every oh. single thing we see on the feet is telling us something why because it's on a reflex and people would be going initially going, oh it's just a foot condition it's just a bunion it's just this no everything we see you know is a result of cellular change at the reflex that part of the body corresponds to that part of the foot there's a cellular change that's why the reflex you know that's why it's a freckle at a reflex and not at another reflex you know that's why there's hard skin at a reflex and not at another reflex every single thing we see on the feet is telling us something so it's kind of weird that we're not paying that more attention and that's what I spent the last few years of my life doing which is looking at manky old feet as my <laughs> teenage <laughs> them calls them <laughs> I'm oh, looking at manky old feet again on the government Computer, you know what are you doing? Oh, thank you. Oh, Veruca's. Oh, God, you're weird. <laughs> so, so interesting. You're 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 saying, if I've got this right, from what you've just said, then is that yes, you're observing the feet, but you're not giving that sort of personality explanation. You're giving it more of a medical explanation. Would that no, be, it's, oh, oh, okay. It's, well, when I say medical, you know we have to be so careful oh, about using that yes. terminology. Yeah. Um, no, I look at the feet in a holistic way. Yeah. Um, I do look at, you know, it does include the personality uh, because we're holistic therapists, but we're bodywork therapists. So I always look at the physical. I found a lot of other foot reading that was um, slightly, we hadn't really looked into that as a profession. Um, a lot of other foot reading was based on the emotions and the personality. It's really relevant, really interesting, really fascinating. But as a reflexologist, I wanted to know more about the the physical, because as I say, we're bodywork therapists, the feet connect us with the earth, you know, the material yeah. being, um, and also it's a fundament, it's a fundament, it's everything is built on the fundament, the, the you know, the physical. So, and what I learned was, uh, which is really interesting, was the more I studied the physical, the more I understood the personality, mm -hmm. the more I understood from the foot reading, the more I understood the emotions. And so I'll just give you a, a little example for, for people. Yes, please. You know, if you see on the feet, you might see, for example, the, the, the whole area over the metatarsal, very red, very inflamed. We know that's the chest area and we know all the organs that are included in there. But if we see it's red, it means it's inflamed. That part of the foot, there's inflammation there. There's inflammation in that part of the body. It's telling us that straight away. It's very clear. But it's also telling us that that person has got inflamed emotions emotions associated with that part of the body so maybe anger irritation those kind of things whereas if you see yellowness that's toxicity as we know you know the yellowness is yeah, associated yeah. buildup of toxins um 
in the body. So, of course, there's an element of medical understanding there. We all do medical training, you know, but uh, we all do Western anatomy and physiology, um, and that's what this is based on. So you're seeing yellowness over the heels, for example. It's like, oh, there's toxicity in the heels. What's that mean emotionally? It means there's toxic emotions. You know, you're feeling maybe classic thing, you know, jealousy. Maybe, you know, you're peed off, you know, kind of yellow, toxic emotions there. So already you're seeing with colour, colours yeah. are fantastic. You know, you, you look at people's feet, it's like looking at a painting, a painting of their life, you know. And the more you look, this is the thing, the more we look, the more we see, and then we study what we see. And that's what visual reflexology is about. And it's not just having them in front of us and kind of going like I used to do, like, Oh, why have they got that painting on the wall? You know, why have they got a pebble, picture of pebbles in the clinic? What, you know, no, focus on the feet. Don't be, you know, don't be, look at the feet. If you're looking at the feet, you're looking at the person in miniature and you are reading what is going on in their body. And the visual informs you so much about what you can do, how to work, what to ask your clients. And so this um, is a real missing element within reflexology, isn't it's it? It's just it's that well, it's so like duh, and it's so easy. It's so <laughs> it's so I like amazing. that. That's perfect. It's so duh. <laughs> it really is. And I include myself in this, you know, I really do. Why did it take me so long? You know, if you got thing like hard skin at a reflex, hard skin is built up as a defense, it's a barrier because yeah. you know, feet being rubbing against the shoe because of the way we're walking that you know it's telling us what's happening at that reflex it tells us about the musculoskeletal yeah. uh, that part of the body is affected it's a barrier it's a physical barrier it also means there's an emotional barrier there you know and it, it you know, i could go on and on with visual reflexology you tend to focus more on systems you know we don't do a lot of the other foot reading stuff is actually not based on the reflexes it's based on the meridians, yin yang, it's based on the chakras, it's based on yeah. the elements, earth, yeah. uh, fire, water, which yeah. as I said before, fascinating, but they're not reflex based as such, right? Okay. This is all totally based on the reflexes. So this so this is now systems. why people need to know it and this, the, the element within it. So go go yeah. for it. So yeah, go on. Yeah. This because is because it, tell, it teaches you, and you will get this because you teach finger free reflexology. So you are well aware, you know, that just, finger walking as i was taught that was practically the only technique i was taught there's so many techniques we can use on the feet to get the best results totally. that's another thing visual reflexology does you look at the systems every system in the body is represented in the foot in the same way if you've got musculoskeletal tension you know the foot's like that yep if the foot's yep. relaxed it's like that because it's telling you about the musculoskeletal system in, in the body. Yeah. So, you know, I would use a different technique. I would use more of a massaging technique if I'm looking at the musculoskeletal system. As we know, if the lymphatic system, if that's uh, puffy, you know, use a different technique for that, such as Sally Kay, who hopefully most of your uh, listeners oh, know. Oh, the wonderful Sally Kay, RLD, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yes. If you're seeing um, inflammation, you would work a different, you know, this is one, of the, these are things I teach, you know, and I have uh, certain videos I show people, but I teach them, use your techniques based on what you're seeing. It's not necessarily even about the reflexes, it's about areas of the body, because it's kind of ironic, again, that, you know, as a holistic profession, we really very much are over in my mind focus on individual reflexes. We need to also focus on the systems of the body where those reflexes are. You know, if there's um, a problem with circulation, it's not purely affecting the kidney, right? It's affecting that area of the body. Um, and that, the visual will give you that. You know, you see, for example, a lot of feet, you see where the core area is very pale, it may even have a slightly bluish tinge. That's telling that the area in the core of the body, the kidney and everything around it is very poorly serviced. You know, it's, it's not right. getting it's not getting the circulation it should. If there's a bluish tinge, it means the blood it is getting is poorly oxygenated. So, and on an emotional level, it means the person is kind of ignoring the core person. All the energy is going outwards. That you know that I see it a lot on reflexologists. I see it a lot on therapists. Oh, not surprising. <laughs> they tend to have a reddish. You know, the outer edge of the foot is red. All the energy is going to everybody else. You know, the core person is being a bit neglected and it's pale. So it's just it's it's amazing what you you can read so much on the feet. So all the systems you're looking at, you're not looking just at individual 
reflexes. That's obviously really necessary, but not just that. You're also seeing the balance of the person. You're seeing the left, right. You know, the two feet often are so different. The more you look at the feet, oh, they're you know so what? different. When my students see my feet, they say I've got schizophrenic feet because they yeah. are so different. There you are. So that explains everything. There I, you think, I want you to example. look at my feet sometime. We Look don't know what you do in your private time, do we? We know <laughs> what you like. We don't know what you do when you, you go out in your hat and your coat. You don't know what you get up to, do we? Anyway, <laughs> we see Angela, the this sounds absolutely amazing. I'll tell you what, I'm just, just listening to you. I'm thinking, oh, gosh, this is so exciting. It sounds like you've got so much knowledge to teach people about this that just isn't being tapped. It's or not. Anything. I spent years, you know, and for me, um, actually, COVID was a kind of massive silver lining because obviously I couldn't see clients. Um, I was already running workshops, but, you know, people were saying, oh, write a book, write a book. So I spent all of COVID, you know, researching all this stuff and seeing how it all linked together yep. um, and how it linked together with the medical, but also with other foot reading stuff and how we could bring it into our basic teaching. You know, I'm, I, I'm writing a book and I've written a book, you know, it's, it's only um, online at the moment. It will be physical some point in the future. But I spent so much time researching this and it was so much time just going, wow, that's so interesting. Everything Everything replicates all energies replicate visually you know everything okay. physical emotional personality even spiritual it all replicates it's so interesting um i think i keep saying that other things i want to say that it teaches us about um it teaches us left right and we're yeah. looking at the whole person you know if your finger if you not finger if you're working on reflexes you're kind of like that like that focus 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 like that, you're looking at the whole person in their entirety. So you've got the micro and the macro. Yeah. So it's great for that. It shows you what te techniques to use. Clients love it. You know, clients absolutely love it. It really engages them with their treatment. If you can look at their feet and from the get-go, you know, I just had this uh, Saturday, I was working with a client. I saw it straight away, you know, I, I said, is your neck all right? And this is the first time I'd met her. She not, we hadn't even began discussing anything. She hadn't mentioned her neck. I said, is your neck all right? I said, oh, I've been driving. She said, normally it's right, but uh. So uh, how did you know that? I could see straight away from her big toe, her yeah. hallux. Was, got you. Got you. <laughs> I could see it straight away. And so, um, um, you know, immediately she's thinking, oh, reflexology. That's, oh, yeah, something too. Oh, she knows what she's doing. And you can ask them. Sometimes they forget to tell you things, but you're seeing something. You're seeing a load of broken capillaries around the base of the spine, very common. Maybe the woman's had a couple of miscarriages, you know, around the uterus area because yep. there's been trauma to the nervous system, all these kind of things. You know, and also they, they love talking about it. They love uh, seeing photos. If you take photos of it, they, the apps, taking photos is great as well. It gives you a great, a real chance to study the feet in a way you don't necessarily when they're in front of you because, you know, right. you're very busy with others. You've then got the time later. Yeah. Yes. But take photos. And people love to, to the point where you have to kind of say, oh, I really need to stop now because, <laughs> you know, they really want, to, they love the visual and they can pick up on it straight away. You point things out and go, that's there because such and such. And um, brilliant. yeah, it helps you with so many things. And you ask things they don't tell, as I just said, you know, so, so many things they'll forget to tell you. But if you're seeing a lot of um, swollen veins and the dorsal, you know, we focus a lot on the dorsal. The dorsal is so undertaught. So now, that's out. interesting because, I mean, so because, you know, I've, I got taught by Moshe. Right. And there was very little about the dorsal. It was all about very the plantar. Little. The dorsal, especially musculoskeletal, but with so many other things as well. Why? Because, and... Um, you know, we're 3D. The feet of course we, we are. Taught, and this is a big thing with visual reflexology. You know, we tend to get taught flat 2D charts. No, the energy is going through the feet. It goes yes. up and down, as yes. Una Singham said. You know, we tend to really just focus on body to feet. But if there's a foot problem, it goes back up to the body. But likewise, it goes through the feet. You know, and I did a chapter in my book is with Sharon Window and Moss Arnold of yes. G Medics. They yes. kindly, and we did a fascinating how how they read the feet overlap with how I read the feet and we reached the same conclusion just in totally different ways which is brilliant anyway wow. that's a whole other story <laughs> uh, read the book read the book buy the book anyway um what was I saying yeah and she said of course energy 
doesn't just go through and it goes all it's constantly it constantly so with visual reflex technology, we focus a lot on the dorsal a lot especially for the musculoskeletal things but other things as well for linking which i'm sure you've heard of i think most Absolutely. students yes it shows you where to link you know if you see a little red mark on the top or you see swollen veins on the dorsal it means the energy that often there's a problem. I, I think for me, the plantar shows the internal person and, you know, the, the rear, whereas the dorsal shows the front. But yeah. there's markers. I'm so glad you said it that way around, because that's exactly how I see it as I well. I don't understand how anybody sees it any other way. That's a whole other discussion, but I don't get it. Shape of the spine? I mean, Absolutely. How, how can it yes. not be? I yeah. was shocked to find out that um, a, a lot of people, particularly I think in the US and Australia, learn the other way. I Anyway, that's, as we said, it's, a that's another topic, story. But, you know, the energy goes through. So we focus a lot on the dorsal, a lot. You must always read the dorsal first before you start, even if you can't see it during the treatment. So many markers there. You know, like I was just saying, um, for example, about a client the other day, she's got a problem with her kidneys. Actually, her, the veins on the dorsal kidney, what I'd call the dorsal kidney mm -hmm. reflex, i.e. straight through, yep. they're very distended there. So that's a marker for me straight away. There's a problem with the circulation to the kidney area. So there's all these markers to look out for. And before, I would not have thought twice. I would have thought, oh, she's got a problem with her foot circulation. But why are the veins distended over that part of the foot and not over another part of the foot? Wonderful. This is what we need to look at. It's so mm -hmm. obvious. It's, really. it's so exciting. Angela, now tell me, because we... You know, I, 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 we, everybody that's going to be watching this is going to be thinking, come on, come on, where can we learn this? How can we learn right. this? So well, come on, tell us. This, is, this you, is the thing. I, I'm here actually to make a bit of a plea regarding yes. venues. Go on, then. Go on, I then. have got some venues lined up. I'm coming back to Ireland um, in the autumn. Always have a great time in Ireland. And Katrina Plunkett buys me a Guinness. And I know she buys you a Guinness when you go there. So, um, yeah, so um, Katrina and Dorothy Kelly and uh, Oh, Adam you're Lee. saying all my favourite people. Yeah, and um, I'm going to Enniskillen. So anyway, Ireland. Um, also, I've got one in Brighton coming up soon. That's in Lovely. June. And one in Norwich and one in Durham. Um, and that's all on my website. I, I was going to write a thing down with my... Oh, send, send me the details oh, on email yeah. and I will put it on the YouTube it on. channel and it'll come up under here. Yeah, because they're all there. But why I say plea is because what I found, and I found this very sad... Um, I had a lot of very nice venues that I went to and I did teaching in before COVID because mm -hmm. what I like to do, I know there's lots of conference centers and so on, you can hire a room, but I always like to try and support complimentary venues. Um, and that's why I always, you, I, I try to, I, you know, lots of lovely venues, they've all closed. All oh, closed all. I see. So many, you know, I had a lovely one in London, Solas, that's no more. I had one in Exeter, I had one in Taunton. Had... Everywhere I'm looking around the country, just gone, just right. absolutely gone. So um, I don't need much in terms of a venue, you know, I just, I, it's nice if there's already um, couches there, if there's already massage couches, all right. of whom is there. All you need sort of five or six, that's fine. And a projector that I can bring my own. It's easier if you have a projector. But yeah, if, it, if people, you know, or if you have a group yourself, if you already have a venue, um, I don't mind it. I like to use, I mean, community halls as well. I'm quite happy to work in. So basically and, what you're saying is if you have a venue and you would like to put Angela on as a yeah. guest speaker, Angela wants to hear from you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because I, I'm really so... It's such a shame that such a lot of lovely venues have gone under. But anyway, yeah, if you've you got enough you've people, got a book. you've got a book. Got yeah, a book as well. yeah, I got a book. Okay. I've got it. I've got an ebook, which um, people have gone. Oh, why aren't you doing a physical book? The thing is, it's interactive. It's brilliant. It's got. Um, I mean, it's brilliant that it's interactive. It's obviously brilliant. But well, of course the brilliant. book's brilliant. What are we talking about? Come on. It's brilliant that it's interactive because I've got technique videos. There's about 10 technique videos that are based on the physical, based on what you're seeing on the foot that right. you wouldn't necessarily know to do unless you'd seen yes. that thing. So it obviously visual ties in with what you feel. I'm not saying it's a separate thing, but you might have missed it. And it also showing you what techniques you use. So it's got lots of techniques. Um, it's also got lots of links to other people. You're linked to uh -huh. it, I have to say. You are linked. Yes, there's a link Ooh, to your you. finger free. 
because you know when I'm talking about different techniques to use and saying there's so many other techniques rather than finger walking and you know you you are linked to for that and possibly something else I'm not sure I can't remember there's so many links because mm. visual reflexology is not just about using um you know foot reading within a treatment it's about the bigger picture of our profession um okay. So I've got links to loads of things. You know, it's great, for example, say for people, um, if you're working with people with learning difficulties that can't communicate how they're feeling, you can see it on their feet. You okay. can see, um, you know, or, or children can't communicate very well, whatever, whatever. So, yeah. for example, I've got a link to, um, oh, God, I've forgotten what, what she's called now, but um, the teacher's um, reflexology for children with learning difficulties. Oh, um, um, yes. Uh, functional reflexology. Yes, functional um, Oh, yeah, no, I it's know. catching. I've got to forget yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, this is just, this is just, it's in the book. This is just to give you an example. So that's why it's lovely because there's also got one of her videos saying, look, yes. you know, this is a great thing for visual because it's another way to get insight to your client without the having, you know, if, especially if they can't communicate, even if they can. But so I put a link to hers. So I've got lots of links to all different things that are to do with foot reading, but links to um, things that aren't necessarily to do specifically with foot reading, but that tie in with it. You know, Sally Kay, because she's, you know, what I was saying about the, the different technique for if you're seeing lymphatic puffiness. So there's a link to Sally Kay. There's a link to all. So that's why it's really great. I really like doing it online, even though I nearly threw, I nearly the technology of it was so difficult um but i really like doing it online um so yeah so come and you know come and have a look at the book there's a website attached so you can have a good look on the website if you think you know um that uh, you know quite sure. Pardon? angela i'll put all the links on this video so people can go there yeah. angela thank you so much for sharing your Pleasure. enthusiasm your yeah. knowledge it sounds like uh, that when people learn from you they are going to have a smorgasbord of information and well you know what david fabulous. you know what david what i learned really early on when i was doing the workshops we already know this we already know this we just have to bring it out lots of our intuition when we go to work on the feet you've probably had those times i know i have clients not said anything about their stomach but my fingers have been drawn to their stomach why yes because we've got intuition where's the intuition come from we've seen before our subconscious knows when we're seeing something That's the it. conscious mind has not registered it but the subconscious mind's got a record we've seen that before we've seen it before and that's what visual reflexology does it brings your conscious foot reading in line with your intuitive foot reading we're all foot reading already we're just not necessarily aware of it what a visual wonderful that's if this is just a wonderful way to conclude what you are teaching that is fabulous angela thank you so much thank you for being on wednesday's reflexology wisdom i have thoroughly enjoyed learning what you are going to be teaching and this has just been a pleasure it really has thank you so much well, You've thank been you for inviting me on <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, Angela is such an enthusiastic, such a knowledgeable teacher. She's got so much that she can teach us all. Um, I'd wholeheartedly re recommend her course. Um, for booking and for getting that um, book that she was talking about, all the links will be just below here. Uh, do dive onto the comments uh, line and you'll be able to get access there. Thank you very much for watching Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. And also just as a, a reminder, if you are watching this and you run a postgraduate or continuing education course in reflexology, do get in touch if you would like your course to be highlighted here as well. So until next time, stay well, stay safe.